Peace be upon you and welcome to another episode of Books and Coffee. If you're new here, I'm your host Fadila. If you've not grabbed your mug of coffee, do so right away and snuggle into a comfortable position. If you've not followed our show, do so to click on that follow button and subscribe. Also rate our show with that star. As the title indicates, today I'll be talking about mindful reading because obviously this podcast is about books and I decided that why not include mindfulness in it because if we don't read mindfully, how would we even gain anything from the books we're actually reading? Hopefully this episode is one that you stay throughout, but if you don't stay throughout the episode, it's totally fine you can always come back and without further ado let's get right into this episode so i will be sharing my experience of mindfulness with you guys and also sharing tips on how to read mindfully and purposeful and all let's begin with the definition of what mindful reading is so basically mindful reading is it's like a purposeful and present minded approach to engaging with literature or the books you're reading be it school books or probably novels being in the moment being present mindfulness in general that's what it means being aware of what's happening being aware of each letters each sentence each punctuation each dialogue being spoken about in this book that we are actually reading but a lot of us we don't actually read mindfully we basically just skim or scan through these books we read if we ask ourselves that okay we are done reading this book what did so and so say exactly in this part of the book we might not be able to give back exactly or those exact words that that character or the narrator said in that aspect of the book or in that part of the book. Why? Because we were not reading mindfully. I'm also guilty of this. A lot of you might be able to relate to what I'm saying, of course, because a lot of us don't read mindfully. I decided that I want to achieve more goals to engage in mindfulness activities more and more and more. A mindful reading is actually one of these amazing ways that I can engage with mindfulness. I hope we both go on this journey of mindful reading together. Even if it's just one person that starts mindfully reading or that engages in this activity of mindful reading, this episode would be worth recording. A lot of people might be wondering what's the purpose of mindful reading? reading is mindful reading even going to get me money or stuff like that mindful reading doesn't necessarily need to get you money it could actually you know but there are different ways in which mindful reading could actually enhance your overall reading experience it will make you develop a sense of empathy more empathy more understanding more resilience it will make your mind attentive it will encourage you to have a deeper understanding of whatever you're reading it creates a pathway in your brain we'll talk about this further into the episode and if you consistently do mindful reading that pathway can getting brother and brother and brother and brother till like it's something that becomes a habit those are a handful of the lot of benefits of mindful reading there's a difference between reading and reading you can tell me you are reading but you're actually not reading like they say there's a difference between hearing and listening two different things entirely you could be hearing but you could not be listening you could be listening but you must be hearing obviously to listen you could be reading and you might be thinking you're reading but you're not actually reading so yeah i hope that makes sense and you remember how i said that mindful reading or practicing mindfulness could actually create a pathway in your brain things we do on a daily basis what it does is that it, it rewards our brain so now if you're practicing mindful reading it rewards your brain in such a way that your brain takes note of this change and adapts to it because you know our brain is constantly changing neuroplasticity in layman language means the rewiring of our brains the more you practice something the more your brain creates new connections between the neurons to make it simpler in simple terms let's say now we have a few great grasses and then there's a particular path that people always pass to get to the end of that field and over years and decades and centuries people have been passing that particular path to go there what do you think would happen to that path that path becomes clearer less grasses would be seen there because this path is used often this is the same logic for mindful reading if you keep reading mindfully it's going to be like that path that people keep you know stepping on and it keeps becoming clearer and another thing about our brain is the more you do something the more it strengthens these new connections between the neurons and the more it strengthens the you know the existing one the opposite is the case the less you use it the more and faster it destroys this path it says okay this person is not using this so probably maybe to them it's worthless or it's not 
what using let's say for example you are a type of person that used to run you were a very athletic person back in your secondary school days and then throughout an entire decade you didn't do running or anything if you are to come back to running you wouldn't be as good as you were 10 years ago because that connection would have probably been destroyed or in the process of being destroyed because your brain is like okay i don't think he needs this path for running anymore so let's destroy it and create space for new connections that he is going to bring into us it's basically a case of you use it or you lose it so now that we've established what mindful reading is and the benefits we could get out of actually practicing this skill now let's move on to how to actually practice mindful reading the first thing i would say is to create a mindful reading environment a mindful reading space like for example if you want to be productive if you've heard from probably maybe a lot of productivity expert or productivity coaches you have to have your space clean or clutter free to be able to be productive so same goes for mindful reading the place you are going to be practicing your mindful reading in or maybe it could be your reading nook it should be clutter free it should be a nice and welcoming kind of environment if you're kind of person that enjoys a cup of coffee like me or if you enjoy tea you could actually incorporate that into your reading space it should just be something that when you see it makes you want to be productive it makes you want to actually achieve that goal you want to achieve or you are working towards which is obviously mindful reading in this aspect it could even be like you light up candles like i love doing and just set that mood and atmosphere next we move on to the selection of the books you are going to read while choosing your book you choose it mindfully <laughs> it might sound like what is this girl saying it actually helps you should be mindful like you know take the colors into consideration being in the present moment not like you're searching through your bookshelf and you're thinking of what am i going to cook for dinner today or you know stuff like that you should be mindfully choosing those books and selecting them you should be doing them intentionally to have the optimus or the most amazing mindful reading experience before you choose or you settle on like a specific genre or a specific theme i encourage that you have thoughtful contemplations i don't mean like you should just come and start making your, your mind like a fuzzy kind of place should i read non-fiction or fiction today should i read this book that talks about um friendship and relationship or should i read this book that talks about identity being in the moment where you actually choose and select these books and then another one because obviously i cannot leave this place without talking about this the ritual of brewing coffee i won't call it brewing necessarily i don't brew coffee i don't brew coffee but it would be nice to actually do so i was watching ali abdal's video he's a productivity expert and his videos are amazing and top notch in one of his videos there was this making of coffee technique that i hope to try out i think it's called the filter something method basically it's more like a science experiment just imagine this method as a science experiment kind of thing so basically he takes a filter paper obviously not the filter paper used in the lab and then he puts it into like a container and then pour his coffee powder or his grounded coffee and then adds hot water and then it filters it and then you have your coffee very easy while you are brewing your coffee let's say you've gotten your space ready and you need to grab your cup of coffee or your mug of coffee while you're brewing it you should be in the moment as the sound of the water is being poured into the coffee or maybe you're using a coffee brewing machine that sound while the coffee is dropping bit by bit into the cup the aroma of the coffee is feeling the atmosphere savor every single feeling absorb it the warmth all this would actually enhance your reading experiences i think it was in mid 2023 i attended a mindfulness course which literally changed my life it was so amazing attending it like i knew what mindfulness was but like i swept it under the carpet but then i actually attended this this course and it blew my mind it, i was like wow wow where have i been all these years a lot of things were being covered there from breathing exercises self-love self-compassion mindful eating mindful walking mindful reading it was such an amazing training and experience for me honestly my favorite exercise is the mindful breathing exercise we also talked about different ways of expressing our emotions process your thoughts process how you react it was just such an amazing experience and there is going to be an upcoming training the next cohort for the mindfulness training for adults for interested listeners if you want to know more you could simply just click the link that i'm going to leave in the show notes to get more details but yeah side note is while you're doing this mindfulness exercise you have to also enjoy it you have to enjoy it i don't mean like you should just be serious and just be poof. 
mindfulness i'm mindfully reading i'm not supposed to smile one you need to enjoy that's the essence of the mindful reading to enjoy and feel and understand every single sentence word letter every intricate meaning reading between the lines as they say reading between the lines i'm going to be dropping a little bit of things that i've learned from ali abdul there was something he said about being productive and i feel mindful reading also falls in the line of being productive he said that it's basically us using our time in a way that is effective intentional and enjoyable and i basically feel like mindful reading goes in line with this definition you have to be intentional while you're doing mindful reading you have to be present yeah the mindfulness technique that you could include into your mindful reading routine so number one on our list like we've already mentioned is to create a distraction free environment so that it can boost your ability to concentrate and then secondly you should have clear intention that i am going to read mindfully obviously there'll be times where you would lose track of being mindful but the important thing is basically bringing your mind back to being mindful before you start reading you set like clear goals that you want to achieve from this reading okay i want to read one page today or three pages there should basically just be a sense of relaxation you just start reading mindfully and honestly when you're mindfully reading something you'd see a huge difference trust me try it i want you to reflect on your own mindful reading experiences if you've in one way or the other before listening to this episode if you've engaged in mindful reading or you've encountered someone that has engaged in it let us know in the comments below how do you practice reading mindfully make sure to share them in the comments below if you are interested in mindfulness course or you want to join the next cohort you could simply just go to the link and get all the details on the mindfulness course. Thank you all for listening. Jazakumillahu khairan. If you have still not followed, make sure to smash that follow button. Rate our show, share our show with your family and friends. Also follow us on YouTube through the link in the show notes. And as always, assalamu alaikum.